under assault in homes. Amateur video out of Syria appears to show a city under siege as Syrian forces continue military action in the rebellious city. Activists say as many as a hundred civilians have been killed in the assault on Wednesday. Now Russia, which vetoed a UN Security Council resolution on Syria, is calling for dialogue. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. We support any initiative aimed at creating conditions for the Syrians themselves to enter dialogue and begin the road to national reconciliation. All responsible members of the international community must begin to do this, whether in the Arab world, in Europe, in the United States, or in other regions. To attempt in advance to decide the outcome of the national dialogue is not the international community's business. The government and all the opposition forces must sit down at the negotiating table. On Tuesday, Lavrov met face-to-face -face with the embattled President Bashar al-Assad. Turkey now appears to be preparing a new diplomatic push against the Syrian regime. Istanbul described the Russian and Chinese veto of the UN resolution as a, quote, fiasco and is likely to face a hard sell with Moscow. Deborah Luderbeck, Reuters.